But what was the penalty for committing murder and adultery? Who deserved to die? But others died for David. Uriah died. The soldiers next to Uriah died. Later on, one of his own sons dies. This little baby dies. But then, David and Bathsheba have another son. His name is Solomon. And he has a son. 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 until another son of David is born in Bethlehem. And this son died for the sins of David as well. And this son of David lived perfectly. Never once did he break the law In every way, he fulfilled the righteousness of God's commands. And this son of David, the perfect lamb of God, died on the cross, not just for the sin of David, but he died for the sin of you. Have you ever tasted of the joy of being forgiven through the finished work of of Jesus Christ? Have you ever laid aside your own self-righteousness and your, your striving to keep the law? Have you ever been forgiven? Then run from self and plead for the grace of God. And Christian, if we're saved through the finished work of Jesus Christ, why would I run to anywhere else? Why would I cover my sin? Why would I hide any longer? Why would I leave this place tonight trying to cover my sin, run to the perfect Lamb of God, and find the rest of one forgiven by God? And all God's people say,